Hi everyone, me again, uh, doing another commentating video today, and this time it's on junctions, T-junctions, crossroads, those kind of things. Um, just talking through how best to um, approach them, deal with them, um, you know, manoeuvre them safely, all those kind of things. Um, so before we get started, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, and if you like this video, then click the like button as it helps other people find our videos as well. So junctions, lots of different types of junctions. You can have a T-junction where it's a minor road into a major road and you're turning left, right. You can have a T-junction where it's a, you're on the major road and you've got to turn left or right onto a minor road. You can also have crossroads, um, you know, staggered junctions those kind of things but we're gonna we're gonna just keep focused on the basics today of when you're dealing with t-junctions in general and maybe the odd crossroad because actually the the principles to deal with them all are exactly the same and the way you do it so um just like roundabouts actually um there is a process and it's um mspsl which is uh, mirror signal position speed and look so when it comes to mirrors very simply if you're turning left you check your left mirror and center mirror if you're turning right you check your right and center if you're going straight across at a junction then you need to select your uh, sorry you need to check your um, definitely your central mirror and left or right you know I always like to check the left because I think that's where the most danger is. Just sitting at a crossroads. I'm going to go straight across. It's a, it's a bit of an awkward one, that one. We'll talk through crossroads um, in a little bit. So let's start with minor road. Uh, uh, sorry, let's start with a T junction where we approach to join a road and we're turning left. So minor road to major road. So we're going to be joining a road. Currently got a give way to oncoming vehicles over the little railway bridge. So I didn't have priority, if you saw the sign. Um, as always, I might chat about a few things on the way, anything that crops up that I think might be interesting. Dog walkers, they're nice, but nothing to do with driving. This person's reversing and uh, using the whole road. Not a problem. You're going to say thank you? No, of course not. Um, okay, so we are coming up to a junction where we want to turn left. So I'm going to check my mirrors, my left and my centre. I'm not going to signal quite yet because of this junction. Once I'm past it, I'm going to put my signal on. Think about my position. So because we're turning left, obviously I want to go left lane. Now, a bit tricky this one because obviously I'm sitting at red traffic lights, but at least it gives me an opportunity to talk to you about position a little bit more. So if we're turning left, what you want to do is you want to try and do some of the steering before you actually have to go around the corner. So I'm already looking at the curb ahead and I'm looking at the curve of that curb and it looks fairly normal. It's not too sharp. It's a nice graduated curve. So as I approach this junction, I'm going to follow the line of the curb and I'm going to steer my car to the left a little bit. Now, give way lines. So I have to give way to traffic on the road. It's going to be a bit easier because there's red traffic lights. So that traffic on that road should be red when I go green. Um, but we still have to think about our position and you still have to um, consider looking as well because even though the other traffic is signalled they might not take any notice of it but when it comes to position so I'm green now so I'm gonna keep my signal on and as I approach the end of the junction I'm following the curve of the curb the curb of the curb and then I continue that turn and then straighten my wheel as the road straightens so really important to have a look at those that curve of your junction when you're approaching. So this time I'm going to turn left again. So I check my mirrors, signal, thinking about my position. So to the left, as Beyonce said, follow the curve of the curb. 
my speed now i'm having to give way so i wanted to make sure that the road was really clear so i slowed down pretty much to a stop but was able to keep rolling oh there's a man cutting bushes quite clever those things aren't they um, and obviously i had a good look so there's your mirror signal uh, position speed look now when it comes to speed i'm driving an automatic today so that makes it you know a bit easier for me just to be able to lift and roll now we have got other videos on selecting gears um, appropriate to junctions so have a look for that um, and lots of other videos as well about um, selecting the right gear for the speed you're doing so yeah there's lots of links uh, in the description as well for any other videos that we think will help this is a mini roundabout so check my mirrors and right signal <clears throat> There is another video on roundabouts like this with a commentary, so you can always have a look at that as well if you want. Now I'm overtaking this parked car, so just checking my right mirror, make sure it's safe. And my left one to come back in again. I can see that my husband is still following me, so that's good. Come on in, Mr. Jaguar. Yep, lovely. Again, just pulling out to the right, so making sure that I'm checking my right mirror. And back to the left. And... Uh, again just as we overtake this car so i'm going to do another left turn but this time it's i'm on the major road and i'm turning into a minor road so my speed is going to be different but i still check my mirrors i do my signal my position is exactly the same i keep nice and central don't want to go too close to the curb follow the curve of that curb around keep to my side of the road and in we go so my speed slowed down i didn't have to stop because i had priority um, and also, um, it was, I didn't need to give way, as I said, I had priority. Now, when it comes to looking, this is a good one. So, when we're looking, not only are we looking for traffic that has priority and making sure that we give way and allow them um, to do what they should do, but you're also looking slightly into the road, just doing a right turn, actually, so a major road into a minor road. You could have gone, but you're not going to, so that's fine. We'll turn right. So that was a major into a minor. So I was on the main road turning into a smaller road. So, yeah, so when it comes to looking, you're looking into the road that you're going to be turning into. You're looking for parked cars, obstructions. There might be a bus stop immediately there. Um, I'm going to do another right turn, so I'm going to check my mirrors. S signal. My position is that I still keep to my side of the road, but I am, um, you know, steering my car. I'm going to go into here. Again, as I steered in, having a look, trying to um, determine if there was anybody obstructing the entrance or I might have had to give way immediately. This is a nice tight road, tight road. Rabbit hutch if anyone wants it. No, not today. I haven't got rabbits. I've got cats, no rabbits. This is lovely and tight and narrow, isn't it? Oh, hello. Lots of tree cutting today. That time of year, maybe. So, end of this road. We're going to be turning right. So, it's a minor road to major road, turn right. So, mirrors, signal, position. I'm keeping straight. If I was turning left, I'd steer to the left. But because I'm turning right... You position yourself central and in the middle of the road. My speed, again, I didn't have priority, so pretty much to a stop. And having a good look to make sure that the road I'm turning into is clear. Just checking my mirror as I increase my speed. Lots of people out and about. Morning, 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 morning. And we're going to do another right turn just to show you that position again. So, check my mirrors. Right signal position i'm keeping straight and i am finishing in a straight position to the center of the road now when it comes to how far forward you should go it's quite good you know I, i'm used to the size of my car i'm used to where my what my car looks like to me when i've stopped in the correct position but sometimes you might need a reference point and we often teach people that if you line up the white line at the end of the road so that it lines up with just the underneath of your wing mirror and um, 
that's how to make sure that you haven't gone too far forward. So the white line of the road, just lining up with the bottom of your wing mirror is, is a good position, but all cars are different, so be mindful. What we don't want to be doing, obviously, is sticking our nose out into the traffic, because that would be dangerous. Got a big bus coming. So, we'll do a couple of more left turns, right turns, so you can get this whole mirror signal and the position for a left turn and the position for a right turn. So we've got a, got a little mini roundabout coming up. Won't signal yet because of that road. So mirror, signal, position, keeping to the left, it is a one lane, but again, so similar to a junction, I'm following the curve of the curb there. Now I think that did used to be a junction there, um, but it's now a mini roundabout. So it is similar. So as we go up this hill, um, again, so we're going to go, I'm on the major road, I'm going to be turning left into the minor road. So when I need to, I'm going to check my mirror, I'm going to signal, think about my position. So I'm going to follow the curve of the curb around the corner. My speed, I'm going to slow down, but I have priority, so I'm not going to anticipate to stop. Be prepared to, but I don't have to be ready to to stop stop because I'm not giving way so there's my mirror there's my signal here's my road I'm keeping to the left but not too close I'm following the curve of the curb nice steady speed I'm having a good look into this junction there's nothing obstructing me and then straighten up and continue to make progress so it's really important that once you've turned into a junction that you make progress where you can examiners on tests are looking for you to you know show that you are confident to make progress we're not asking you to accelerate harshly up to the speed limit but a nice progressive acceleration is what they're looking for so this time i have to give way so i'm checking my mirrors i'm doing my signal watch my position just following the curve of this curb around i've used my reference point of my line under my mirror or it still works nobody is coming now i'm checking this road as you can see, I'm creeping out because in front of me, I've got parked cars with other cars overtaking them. Now, even though I have priority, I was joining the road. So the people on the road, thank you very much, did have priority until I was on it. So those that were already committed to overtake, I should, I must allow to, them to do that. Oh, good morning. Yeah, you're oh, oh, very nice lady saying good morning. I'm going to turn right at this this uh, mini roundabout, it's the same mini roundabout again. I am going round and round in circles, I know, but there's some lovely lots of different types of junctions. So, we're gonna turn left. So I'm going mirrors, signal. My position is such that I'm gonna just steer around the curb, as I said, follow the curve of the curb. Nice steady speed, I had priority, so no need to uh, come to a stop. Checking my mirrors and making progress. So we're still in the 30, so Obviously, I'm stopping at 30. Just a, a thing on speed limits. They're not a target, you know. They want you to make progress, but only when it's safe to do so. So if there is a reason why you need to be going slower than 30, go slower than 30. It's not a target. It's the maximum you can go. We're going to turn right at this crossroads. Now, we're on the major road, joining a minor road. That yellow car has priority because the junction is on their side. So, hopefully you notice there my position. Don't want to cut the corner. You want to make sure that you're steering in without going over that centre white line of the road that you're steering into. So, I'm going to turn left. This is a crossroads, but pretty much it's major to minor, so I check my signals. Sorry, I check my mirrors. <laughs> Don't check my signal, check my mirrors. Put my signal on, uh, thinking about my position, slowing down. I have priority into the junction, but I'm still looking, making sure that they were staying and that there was nothing obstructing the road I'm turning into. Okay, so this time we're coming up to a crossroads. Now, I'm on the minor road, 
and I need to go across the major road and I'm going to go straight on. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I know that this is quite a tricky junction, uh, tricky crossroads. So I've checked my mirrors. I don't need to signal. My position, because I'm going straight on, is straight. Uh, I'm going to use that reference point to stop to make sure I'm not sticking out. I speed. Obviously, I need to stop, so that came to a halt. Now, this is what I call a peep and creep. So it's quite hard to see because of the bushes. So... I don't know if you kind of noticed what I was doing, but I was just edging forward, having a look, edging forward, having a look, and you know, and then when it's safe to go to do so, then you commit and you go. Um, so that's a, a peep and creep junction, that one. Uh, I'll do another peep and creep in a moment. Go under the railway bridge, and we're gonna go left mirrors signal having a nice look following the curve of the curve checking that right mirror just in case anybody's been keen because I'm overtaking those cars I have my heated seat on because it's a bit chilly today but now I'm really hot so I'll turn that off again right mirror check just as I pull out over these parked cars so I'm going to turn right into a minor road so, mirrors, signal. I want to talk about my position turning right. My speed is such I need to pretty much slow down and be, be ready to stop because uh, the cars coming towards me have priority. Now, how do we make sure we don't cut this corner here? I'm lining my wing mirror up with the white line in the center of the road. And hopefully, which I did because I checked my little mirror, I didn't go across the white line. So that's another reference point you can use with junctions. So your wing mirror is really helpful in these situations. So when you come to um, a junction that you need to make sure you're not going over the line, you use that white line just under the wing mirror reference. And then if you're turning right into a junction, you use the same reference point, just in a slightly different way. So the middle white line of the road you're turning into lined up with your wing mirror so right turn here so mirror right signal position keeping to the road but if you notice just I've just put a tiny bit of right steer on before I make that turn and again use my reference point of the white line at the end of the road to make sure I hadn't gone too far forward just checking my mirrors as I make progress so there's a couple of nice reference points there for you to use but it is, you know, it's mirror, signal, position, speed, look. Your pos what the direction you're going determines what position you're going to approach a junction in. And whether you have priority or not then determines your speed. Um, whether you need your gears to slow down, use your gears, or it's just lift and roll, which I have the pleasure of doing in my car. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go left turn at this mini roundabout we can why not nobody's coming and away we go right i'm going to do another peep and creep on the crossroads it's the same crossroads i'm just approaching from a different direction so i'm still in the 30 uh, but now i change speed limit signs now i change to 40 so mirrors center and left because we're going straight on no signal position i'm going to keep straight to the road going to use that reference point of the white line under my mirror my speed is such that I am going to be pretty much coming to a standstill because I do not have priority the main road does so I'm approaching and I know that this is a tricky junction to see so um okay now that vehicle's coming probably could have gone probably could have gone So, no one coming, can make a decision and commit and across. So, if you come to a junction, whether it's a crossroads or a T junction, if it is tricky for you to see and you need, you know, you, whether it be because of parked cars or trees or bushes or any other obstruction that could possibly be there, if you're finding it tricky to 
um, fully see in your normal stopping position, then that's where peep and creep. So literally creep forwards, have a look, creep forwards, have a well, peep in this case, have a look, creep forwards, have a peep, creep forwards, have a peep until you could get good visibility enough to make that decision and commit to going. So we live in quite a, a, a rural area, so we quite often have to contend with, um, you know, slightly blind junctions, they're called, whether it be because of trees or just the general layout of the roads. Um, so peep and creep is our friend. We use lots of peep and creep. So end of this road, we're going to turn left. So it's a minor road joining a major road with a lovely bend on approach. So left mirror check, left signal, adjust my speed, thinking about my position. So I'm following this time the white line because it's a solid white line. So I don't want to cross it. That car doesn't look like it's where it should be. Making sure that one, there's nobody coming, but also that the road I'm entering is nice and clear, which it is. Now this is a national speed limit road. So run, run, run. Oh, nearly got it. Little partridge. Didn't want to get it. Run, run, run. That's another hazard around here. Pheasants, partridges, oh, everywhere. But there we go. Okay, so coming up to another left turn. So I'm checking my mirrors. Left signal. Making progress still. That car's going. Thinking about my speed. Slowing down. I have priority. Thinking about my position. Now this is quite a sharp one. So we need to, we have to stay straight a bit longer there before we could turn in. So that's the thing with sharp corners. You can't necessarily start making that gradual turn. Um, on approach sometimes you have to approach straight and then turn in so that's how to deal with those sharp corners and I'm going to turn left at the end of the road so mirror signal this is a lovely one this is almost just like you're driving in a straight line although visibility is a bit awkward you have to look right over your shoulder but there we go so that was a nice one to steer around but then it had its added challenge of a slight issue you know visibility was hard Okay, so just approaching this 30 speed limit, making sure that my speed is 30 as I pass the signs. And I could be turning immediately left. So I check my mirrors, I signal, think about my position. Now this is quite a sharp corner again. So nice and slowly, again, checking the road that we're looking into and complete your maneuver. So your position differs sometimes because of the, the sharpness of the corner. Is it a more graduated curve? Is it sharp? Um, if it's more graduated, you can start to steer in earlier. If it's sharper, then you need to stay in a straight line and, and do a lot of turning at, at once. So I'm going to turn right at this uh, crossroads, this junction. So checking my right mirrors, right signaling. Now I have priority over those joining the road but I don't have priority over the people that are approaching me to turn left. So again, just using that reference of my mirror, lining it up with the road so that I don't cut across and then turning in and uh, just double checking, making sure that everything's clear around me. So hopefully you've seen just by me driving some junctions that, you know, the process for dealing with any junction, left, right, major, minor, crossroads, is check using your mirrors to check it's safe to do what you want to do, signalling to let others know that your intent of what you want to do, if you're turning left or right, um, just uh, being mindful of the speed of approach. So um, if you are going to be giving you've got to give way, then you'll be looking at doing uh, a slightly slower approach speed in anticipation to stop. If you haven't got to give way, you slow down. Um, you know, you have to be careful. Not everybody sticks to the rules, but essentially you can approach with a little bit more speed than what you normally would. Um, then we're thinking about 
um, having a good look so not just looking into uh, ahead to make sure that you're giving way to anybody or um, making sure they're going to give way to you but also having a look into the road that you're turning into just like I did then to make sure that there's no parked cars um, you might have to stop immediately to give give way to someone if they have the priority so mirror signal position again think about the curve of the curb is it gradual then you'll be able to do some of your steering before and slightly steer to the left if it's sharp if it's a sharp curb then having to stay fairly straight till the end or if you're turning right and going straight on so i'm turning right here so again i stick to the middle of the road nearer to the central white line here using my reference point to stop now i have to give way and having a good look making sure the tree cut is out of the way which he is so there you go so i hope you found this interesting um as i said if you did then please uh click the like button and subscribe to our channel and if you want to help us make more videos then uh, consider becoming a member of our channel and uh yeah please add some comments we reply to them all so uh thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you next time